Hi, it's Kata. It is the middle of winter, and I should wait until spooky season to show you my spooky dolls, but I can't wait. Besides, raise your hand if you're already looking forward to Halloween time. This guy, definitely. I'd raise more if I had more hands. Spooky season goes by way too fast anyway, doesn't it? So I see nothing wrong with starting it much earlier this year. Really early. So what if it's January? Even our patio skeletons are getting into the spooky spirit early. And if that's not creepy AF, I don't know what is. So let's take a cue from the winter skellies and do spooky in January. Aside from Monster High, I'm new to spooky dolls. Until recently, I didn't even know other spooky dolls existed, let alone how many different kinds there are. So for you doll experts, I'm probably not going to be showing you anything new here, but this is all very new and exciting for me because not only are these my first spooky dolls, these are my very first other dolls, period. Up until this point, I've only collected Barbie and Monster High. And now, depending on how these unboxings go, I just might be allured to these new to me dolls just as I became with Monster High when I only collected Barbie. And since we're talking Monster High and this is a video about spooky dolls, let me first show you my favorite spooky Monster High dolls. So this is even after downsizing, which I did a video of last summer. Since then, this is the first time I've removed all of my dolls from those cramped file boxes and put them on display. I love how they all fit nicely on these three shelves, so I can always look at them all together. FYI, many are not in their original outfits. I found most of my collection from the thrift store, usually without clothes. So they get whatever spare outfits I have, but I do always try to give them outfits that fit their style. Now, one thing about Monster High dolls that you probably know, while they are indeed monster themed, many are not super spooky, arguably. For the most part, these dolls strike me as more fashionable and charming than what I'd consider spooky. However, there are those that are both lovely and eerie. These six here are my eerie favorites that I currently own. The first one is the 2012 Ghoul's Rule Frankenstein. Frankie is a Frankenstein themed character, so they've got bolts in their neck and stitches on their body. I think what makes this one especially spooky for me is the lightning bolt pattern on their face. So it looks as if they've been struck by lightning and that they still have remnants of that on their face. Or maybe it's veins from like the dead body parts that they were sewn together with in classic Frankenstein fashion. Frankie also always has a stitch under their eye and also two different color eyes. So Frankie overall is a really great spooky doll in my opinion, but this one in particular, the Ghoul's Rule Frankie, is extra spooky. I love Frankie's boots, stitches up the sides, glitter, they're just so glam, I love Frankie. The next Monster High doll that I find wonderfully spooky is the 2014 Zombie Shake Rochelle Goyle. Rochelle is naturally spooky because she's a gargoyle and check out those wings. You can just envision her crouched up on top of some grand cathedral fending off evil spirits. I love that she too has these like cracks in her face and on her arm and on her leg, kind of like cracks in the concrete. Yeah, pretty spooky doll, especially the wings. Her shoes have cathedral window etching and the heels have gargoyles on them. Pretty cool.
The doll I find especially spooky for Monster High is the 2015 Ghoul Fair Scara Screams. I don't think anyone would disagree that this is a spooky doll. No pupils in her eyes. She's a banshee, so she's naturally eerie. This is her original outfit, though I gotta say it doesn't really do her spooky justice. I often put her in something more flowy and ghostly, kind of like Frankie's dark dress that we just saw. I do, however, like Scara's boots with the slime. Is that supposed to be like ectoplasm? Like she's standing on a pile of slime. Even the purse she came with is like a bucket of slime. Speaking of ghosts, we have the 2015 Dot Dead Gorgeous Spectra Vondergeist. So this character is a ghost. Look at her translucent limbs. She's got chains on her hands and chains on her dress. These shoes actually go with a different Spectra, but I love the ball and chains. Classic ghost figure chained to the earth. Her hair is stunning and that ghostly white face with those eyes that look right through you. Definitely a spooky doll. This next one is the 2021 Skullector Lydia Dietz from the Beetlejuice box set. She did come with a different dress, but I wasn't crazy about it, so I put her in this one. I did go ahead and keep her hat in order to keep her looking especially strange and unusual. But she's actually very pretty, pretty and also kind of spooky, with her side glance that kind of gives her a sixth sense vibe because, as we know, she can see ghosts. What's really fun is the heels of her shoes have Beetlejuice in snake form. And this last one is the 2012 Scaris City of Frights Scalita Calaveras. Now, excuse the fact that she is naked, but that is where I find that this doll really shines in her spookiness because she's a skeleton. She's got that beautiful Dia de los Muertos face. Look at those hands and feet. And the rib cage with the whole spine. It's just so detailed. If this weren't a monster doll, I'd be buying this at the Halloween store. So there we go. Out of all the Monster High dolls that I currently own, these six are the ones that I find the most spooky. What other Monster High dolls do you find to be the most spooky? Let me know in the comments. So before we get to the new dolls, I gotta mention Barbie. As far as Barbie goes in the spooky department, there isn't much that I know of. Every year there's a new Halloween Barbie, but those are more cute than spooky in my opinion. Um, the only truly spooky Barbies that I'm aware of are Mattel's Haunted Beauty Collection, which are gold label collector dolls. The 2012 Haunted Beauty Ghost Barbie, the 2013 Vampire Barbie, 2014 Mistress of the Manor, and 2015's Zombie Bride. But considering each of those dolls sell anywhere from $600 to more than $1,000 each, the scariest thing about those dolls is the price. I'd be buried up to here in debt for a set of those. My bank account would be six feet under. My wallet would be ashes to ashes, dust to dust. I could keep going. <laughs> anyway, I did a video last fall of gothing up some Barbies and Kens. Um, and while goth definitely isn't necessarily spooky, arguably, I'm including these Barbies in this video. So here's just a quick glance of the dolls that I got up last fall. If you'd like to see kind of their before and after, I'll put the video right here. 
My two favorites are these two in the front. We gave him a guitar because we kind of thought he looked like Daniel Ash of Bauhaus and Love and Rockets. Yeah, he's turned out really hot. And of course, this one too with the choker. And everybody got black lipstick, a very dark red lipstick for the most part with some water soluble colored pencils that um, went on really nice and made all the difference in their gothy spooky look. But it was super fun finding clothes for these dolls that are normally, you know, regular looking Barbies and they get the opportunity to look really cool, really spooky. And I'm just gonna say it, they're super sexy. Especially him. I was trying to make him into like a Peter Steele from Typo Negative. He kind of looks like Anthony Kiedis. <laughs> Pretty cool though. I had a lot of fun making these dolls and while they're not spooky per se, I think they fit really nicely in this video. Okay, so the first new to me spooky doll series is the Bratzillas. This is actually what started this whole interest for me is the 2013 Bratzillas Yasmina Clairvoya. Um, at first I thought she was like the core or the first series, but then when I realized she's not articulated, I did some further digging and realized she's what's considered the budget <laughs> Bratzillas. Um, she did not come with her original outfit, so this is a, like Monster High or uh, Ever After High extra clothes that I had. She looks super, super cute in it. Um, unfortunately, her hair has been cut, but it still looks kind of sassy, very sort of 80s. Um, I love the inset eyes. I love the dark lipstick, but I gotta say, I'm not really seeing much spooky in the Bratzillas. Maybe her outfit would add a little bit more of a spooky element to it. Although when I looked that up, I didn't quite really see anything that sort of pushed it over the edge from just cute to uh, eerie and spooky. But I still wanted to dive more into Bratzillas to see if there were any others that I really liked. So I got this Bratzillas Switch a Witch. Look at all those options. There's two dolls, sorry for the glare, two dolls, a bunch of different limbs, clothes, hair. You can make all of these different options. That's a lot of options. Actually, I think, I think some of those are for another Switch of Witch series. So I love the sort of black and white half and half look there and i cannot wait to play around with this i have a feeling these are going to be wonderfully spooky activities look activities <laughs> Do you want the one with the black and white or do you want the one with the green and white? Uh, black and white, sure. Black and white. And then you've got hair, two hair options. Would you like this one or this one? I'll take this one. Okay. I said, better have my money. Not some of my money, all my money. <laughs> all of my cash. Part of the 
dress? No, it's strings. Are you sure? Yeah. It's not like a Pat Benatar type dress? No. You better run! You better hide, honey. Are you sure? And actually, so You Better Run is a not a Pat Benatar song. It's a mm. song by the Little Rascals. Mm. Not the Little Rascals, the Young Rascals. Mm. There you go. Your musical. So, what um, arms and legs would you like? You know, this is my first doll construction. <laughs> the um, vinyl cracks real easy. Oh, look at that. Okay. If anybody's experienced this with their uh, dolls, let us know. And yes, I have two watches on. There's an old saying that a person with one watch knows what time it is. A person with two isn't sure. <laughs> Did you put her panties on? Uh, yes, I did. The gentleman doesn't discuss matters as such. Ah! I think it's cute! It is cute. It is very cute. Even though I have her legs on wrong. <laughs> you think they're spooky? No, I do not. I think they're more fashionable. Yes, yes, they are. Mm -hmm. Ta da! Cool! Thank you, honey. So, husband and I had so much fun putting these Bratzilla Switch of Witches together. The quality of the hair is so nice on this one. Really thick and really nice. Easy to brush with her little broom brush. <laughs> cute so yeah and then you can put them in all these different types of combos so it says over 2,000 combinations 2,000 plus but I think you need these others possibly in order to get that 2,000 looks like they might make two other sets of switch of which options too and then look at how cute all that is so I asked husband if these were spooky and he said no. So I, I think I'm going to have to agree that Bratzillas as a whole are not spooky dolls. But they sure are cute. I could see myself owning some more of these. Yes, look at this. <laughs> now this is spooky. It's a cat and a dog sewn together. It's a Bratzilla's pet. Does anybody know the name of this pet? Does it have two names? Does it have one name? Okay, but even better, check this out. <laughs> the dog meows. And the cat barks. It's driving my pets crazy. Okay, next we have a doll that I am so excited to unbox. I first mentioned these dolls when I did the Barbie goth video last fall. So at that time I had none and since then I've gotten one. And we're going to unbox it together. Ready? It is a bee goth! 
the Bleeding Edge Goth Dolls. This particular one is Raven. As you can see from the box, I believe she's been out of her box before. Either that or that's actually kind of cool to put her in her box with like her hair, like kind of covering up her face. But I don't think so. I think she usually comes with kind of like a formal updo, um, Victorian style updo. But uh, I'm, I'm thrilled, you know, that she did come with the box. Here's the back of it that shows all the other... It even has a price tag on it. It's September 1st, 2023, $24.99. <laughs> they cost more than that now. So this doll is 20 years old and I can't believe I'm still talking about it and I haven't opened it yet. So let's do that. Here we go. Hold up. Hold up. We're getting there. We're getting there. The anticipation. Okay. Yeah, it does slide out. Okay. Ready? <laughs> oh wow wow whoa you know what i don't i don't know that she has been out of this box before just for some reason her hair is just kind of undone but maybe maybe her hair is meant to be like oh my gosh look at how cool she is her blue blue eyes and I love the like, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna take her out of this whole thing. I'll be right back. Okay, here she is. Cool. Look at the piercings. I mean, this was 2003, right? So this is 20 years ago. Very edgy. <laughs> She had um, like a disintegrated rubber band in her hair. So I'm thinking that maybe all her hair had been was in a ponytail. And that's what made me think that she had more of a like formal updo from pictures that I've seen of her. But she's got fingernails. I wish they would have given her black nail polish. That would have been perfect. Look at the like lip liner around her lip. That's very early aughts. Look how big her eyes are. I know some of them have like really interesting eyes like like X's through their eyes that kind of make them, you know, like look dead or other types of like symbols. She's bigger than I thought. I gotta say, I was expecting more of a Barbie size, but here's a comparison. She's almost, almost, not as tall, but almost of the body style of like uh, the Jean Marshall dolls. Yeah, she's she's got that sort of larger head and same sort of larger feel to her body and weight to her, too. Same height as Barbie, almost. Maybe a little bit taller. <laughs> Such a cool doll. And here's um, a better shot of the box. Look, at it's like skulls being sucked into a purple void. And um, here's, yeah, here's some of the other options. Um, like, look at that one. Her eyes are completely blacked out. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> and I love what it says. No goths were harmed in the making of this product, but some were saddened. Tear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very gothy. Great for 2003. I mean... I really like this doll. I just want to like hold her in my hands. She's kind of like the Jean Marshall dolls. There's something really satisfying about um, like an adult size doll. <laughs> that sounds naughty, but you know what I mean. Like a 
doll made for adult size hands. That's what I'm talking about. You know, they say that Barbie was made for children and child size hands. And that um, dolls like Jean Marshall, although this is not the same as Jean Marshall, were made for uh, adult size hands. And I am feeling like Begoths were made for grown-ups. Um, that's just my assessment. If, you know, if you're a kiddo and you love these dolls, uh, then you've got to be the coolest kid in the world because I think I would have been a little scared of this doll when I was a kiddo, but uh, now, yes, love it. <laughs> Here is the size comparison between Jean Marshall, Begoth Raven, a Barbie, and a Monster High um, Frankie. I'd forgotten how tall Jean is. However, there is still something to be said about Raven. She's a weightier doll overall. Definitely larger head, just larger mass to her body. Oh, you look lovely this evening. Have you decreased in mass? Kind of more enjoyable to hold in one's hand. Okay, so this is a doll that I have that might just be spooky adjacent. Not particularly spooky on her own, but she is kind of weird. And I like her a lot. It is the 2012, I think, Novi Star Alley Electric. She's the prettiest alien. She is missing one of her antennas, but considering I got her at the thrift store for a dollar, I feel very, very lucky, especially because look at this. <laughs> Isn't that cool? She changes color. She's electric. Husband says that she looks exactly like the alien baby in the first Men in Black. Oh, it's kind of cute, the one that throws up on Jay. She does look like that, doesn't she? I understand that there are other Novi stars, um, but I was just so lucky to find this one in the wild. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know if I will ever find another one again. I'm not really on the hunt for them, but I do really, really like this one. So thought that I would include her in my spooky doll video because yeah, she's adorably spooky. Anything about that seem unusual to you? Okay, it's a different day now because I've been waiting for some to arrive in the mail and it's taking forever um, because I've noticed, I'm not sure if it's related at all, that the majority of these dolls listed for sale are in England. So perhaps these are British dolls? I don't think so though, but for some reason, many, many of these used dolls are in Great Britain. So um, I did order some and they took a while to get here. They just arrived. We're gonna open those in a minute. But first, let me show you the one that I got already. This is Once Upon a Zombie. I have to thank a YouTuber for turning me on to these dolls, which I'd never heard of before. They are like, Disney princess, fairy tale princesses, they've all been turned into zombies. If I'm getting the timing right, they were books first, kind of children's books, um, and then turned into dolls. Maybe it's the other way around. Maybe they were dolls first and then turned into books. But Disney princesses turned into zombies? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wanted that spooky doll. This one is Sleeping Beauty. I 
I love the stitching around her face. I love her kind of claw hands. None of them come with shoes as far as I know. Um, what I don't really care for about them is sort of the shiny princessy fabric, but um, of course they're gonna be wearing shiny princessy fabric if they're Disney princesses. But they zombied it up, so I gotta give a major credit for that. And there is a skull on her belt. I've noticed that skull is missing on a lot of the previously owned ones, but uh, fortunately, Sleeping Beauty does have hers. She also has um, some, like, mummy wrapping that is kind of coming off on her hand, but that's rubber, so that that's a little strange, But but I love the sort of glassy eyed look like she's kind of out of it <laughs> that really adds to the spooky vibe for these dolls for sure so i ordered two more previously owned ones from great britain took forever to get here i think these are them i hope it's not like cat treats or um like vacuum bags or something because <laughs> i do order those things a lot so let's find out This way. Oh, <laughs> yay! Yay, finally! Ooh, we have Belle and we have Rapunzel. Ooh, look at her hair. I kind of thought her hair would be even longer than this. Maybe if it wasn't in this really beautiful thick braid it would cascade more look at rapunzel's face i love the stitching around her mouth that's so creepy and look at Belle. she's got a stitch and like a scar across her eye and down her cheek <laughs> Yeah, again, not crazy about the dress, um, but look it, it actually does have holes in it because yeah, she's been through some stuff. Oh, look, she only has one sleeve, that's fun. It's hard being a zombie. I love that they gave her really strong eye makeup and they do have rooted eyelashes. You know, these are really pretty dolls. I think the spookiness makes them even prettier. They fit perfect in my spooky doll collection. So after I ordered the dolls and before they arrived, I, I was browsing around online to learn more about them. And what I was seeing was some beautiful artwork. The covers of the books are really gorgeous. And then I also found a sticker set. So this is like the sticker book with Belle, Cinderella, and Snow White. I think I'm gonna need to get me Cinderella and Snow White. I think there's an Alice in Wonderland too. Yeah, I think I'm committed to these now.
I'm gonna have so much fun with these. Now I wanna start sending more mail. I'm gonna start doing like correspondence. Oh, I think I'm gonna catch up on my correspondence. So thanks for honoring spooky season in winter with me and coming along as I discover these wonderful new spooky dolls. Are there other spooky fashion dolls that I simply must know about? Let me know in the comments. Also, please feel free to subscribe. Thanks and see you next time. This one in particular, the ghoul's rule. The ghoul's, but this one in particular, the ghoul's rule. Oh God, I cannot say that. So I asked husband, are these spooky? And he said, it's so rude. Okay, I'm gonna try this again without contributions from the peanut gallery. Yeah, that's scary money. My Lincolns would be shot. You know, Lincolns. Five dollars? Too soon? My mortgage would be morte. Doesn't make any sense. Your missing money would be on a milk carton. <laughs> That's clever. Love the beauty. Is there a beauty? Like Beauty and the Beast? That's Belle. <laughs> Duh. Hit that like button. <laughs> you got lipstick on you. Ain't the first time.